Hello Shopify world, my name is Andrew from EcomExperts.io and today we are reviewing PageFly. PageFly tells you that they are going to make it easy for you to just create a new page or an entire Shopify store just dragging and dropping. Is that true? Well, we're gonna see in the walkthrough section. You're gonna discover it together. But before that, we switch some things around and we actually jumping straight to the facts corner. It used to be at the end of our video and now it's at the beginning. So let's look at the facts of PageFly. The app is one of the most popular page builder apps on the Shopify platform. It has a 4.9 out of five star review out of 2,800. Oof and 35 I think and 35 reviews as of this recording so let's look at the breakdown right here and we do this with all the apps we kind of zoom in on the one stars um, just to see if there's some industry specific flags but most of these things are going to be addressed in the video even the best apps in the world have one star reviews there's some people that are just not happy ever so a super important thing when we look at Shopify apps is integration does it play nicely with the other apps in the ecosystem well actually PageFly plays super nicely with review apps so you can have Luke's Judge.me, Stamped, or Yachtpo, all four of them play really, really well together with PageFly. If you don't have any review apps, you might want to consider using them. So we actually reviewed all four of those apps and you can check the links uh, wherever links are these days. Beside that, PageFly also integrates with Google Analytics and Facebook Pixel which is important because we're not 100% sure yet if it's on the same domain because you're building it, it is on the same domain. But so how much will PageFly actually cost you? Well, they have four plans. They have the free plan, they have the $15 a month plan, they have the $31 a month plan, and they have the $79 a month plan. Now I will overlay them right here, right next to each other. And if you're like, Andrew, this is a deal breaker. I haven't seen it yet. You should really see the walkthrough and everything before you say it's a deal breaker. But what kind of other competitors I can check out to make sure that I'm picking the right page builder app for me? Well, glad you asked because we also reviewed a bunch of their competitors. Um, they're all fantastic. You have Zipify Pages, which we have reviewed. We have Shogun, which we have also reviewed. We have Gem Pages, which guess what? We have also reviewed. We have Layout Hub. We have Hyper Visual Page Builder and we have Page Studios that are all alternatives to this app. Okay, now enough talking about those facts. Let's jump straight into the walkthrough and let's actually build an entire page together. Okay, the app is installed and we are on the dashboard. But first, don't forget to really like and subscribe. It makes a huge difference. So like and subscribe, please, please, please. Thank you. The dashboard is organized in three parts. In the navigation bar to the left, you can find the dashboard, which, surprise, is the page we're currently on, analytics, pages you created with PageFly, and settings. So let's create a new homepage for our fantastic demo shop. Click on this button right here and a new window appears. So on this page, you should choose page details, page title, URL, and page type. In the page layout section, you can choose to show or hide the header and footer. This last section right here is interesting, page optimization. This is particularly interesting for us because we're speed optimization experts in Shopify. So um, I'm expecting something a little bit fancier to be fair, but lazy loading is pretty important. Although that now some browsers have it natively, but that's another story. There are also arguments against lazy loading, but you know what? Let's keep the conversation simple and just leave it at that for now. There are six page types to choose from. The terms used here come from Shopify. As such, there is no option for a landing page. If you want to build a landing page for your first promotional campaign, then choose the regular page option right here. I gotta admit that the wording is a little bit confusing at first, but frankly, you quickly get the hang of it. On the next page, you can choose from a range of templates, and up here, you can filter it by the type of page you want to build. So we will choose the home page and proceed to the editor. 
Here is the main dashboard of the PageFly editor. From here, you can drag and drop building blocks to the main dashboard and build your website from the top down. If we are speaking about elements, you can add to the page and you can even customize to the very smallest detail. Like whatever crosses your mind, you can probably add it with this app, which is pretty cool. PageFly provides essential features with a simple drag and drop system like you see, and it's really gonna help you grow your conversion rate and sales for your e-commerce business overall. That was pretty straightforward. Let's publish this page and see how it all looks. Click on the publish button right here and the page is live without a single line of code written. We are in our demo shop and here it is. And frankly, it looks beautiful for a demo shop that I've put zero amount of time. Okay, this is fantastic, it all looks beautiful, but how is it actually looking on mobile? I know you're probably building your entire store on your desktop, but most of your first time visitors are checking mobile. So I pulled out my mobile and let's see on that demo page, we have just built. We are on the demo shop for mobile. The page loaded quickly, which I'm on a fantastic Wi-Fi network right now, so I hope it kind of loads quickly, but that's still very good. Well, it looks pretty impressive. Everything works the way I expected. It looks fantastic. Great work, PageFly team. Okay, let's talk about speed because yes, it does look beautiful, but how fast is it really? Our page speed has a huge impact on your bottom line and you should keep a close eye on it. We developed a free speed tool, testmystorespeed.com, so you should really check it out as it's Shopify specific and it has some really helpful features. Um, like this one, for example, the speed history. We already tested the shop before we added the app and here in speed history, it's really easy to compare the two speed reports. So um, in case a developer did something on your store, you can just pull up the two reports and see if it affected the speed. Let's see how much of an impact the app has on our store. Okay, as you can see, the impact was not significant. Um, so that's really good that PageFly doesn't affect any other pages or your store in general. Okay, so people ask me my opinion. What do you think about these specific apps? You are a Shopify expert. What's kind of your view on it? Well, my opinion on either Shogun or PageFly or GemPages or any of them, page builder apps are always comes down to the same. I think they're hugely crucial for you to have as a store owner. I really believe that. You see, because when you're launching a marketing campaign, either for a new product or anything like that, you want to build your funnel and your landing pages quickly. It needs to get up and run and you don't have time to talk to the designer and the developer and you know meet and re-meet and rebuild and make additions. On top of that, if you're taking this campaign seriously and you're sending a lot of traffic to it, you should probably do a significant amount of A-B testing. And then as the traffic comes in, you should tweak the page and send more traffic and tweak again and basically continue that process until you end up with a landing page that just converts at the highest amount you think it could convert. That said, that once you have that landing page that converts really well because you, you tweaked it and you optimized it, I do believe there is a huge value in getting that page to be actually built by a developer in your Shopify store. Now, I'm a bit biased because I am a developer, but I just believe that it's going to be a better performance, especially if your visitor is in a really bad 3G network on their phone, it's gonna have less requests, a lighter page. To me, that's just the, the right way to do it, the clean, right way to do it. That being said, the, these types of apps are absolutely crucial for you to have in your toolbox. And then about PageFly specifically itself, well, it really, really depends what you are looking for. You have to kind of look into their pricings, compare them and see the features that you personally like and that you personally need and go with the app that has that feature for you. To completely delete all the PageFly pages and code, after removing the app, you need to delete the PageFly assets team. First, go to the online store and choose themes. And from this section right here, theme library, remove PageFly assets, do not delete. Before entering the theme code though, we really suggest you to make a duplicate of your live theme. Uh, whenever you play with your code, just make a duplicate. It's good practice to have a backup. And so you can do that by clicking on the action button right here and choose duplicate from the drop down menu. After the duplication is made, again, you can click on actions, but this time choose edit code. 
Search for PageFly in the search bar to filter all the PageFly liquid files. Click on each page to open them and press the delete file button inside the code editing area. By deleting all the PageFly liquid files, you will remove all the PageFly data and code from your store. Okay, thank you very much, guys. My name is Andrew from ecomexperts.io. Make sure to check out Zipify and Shogun and GemPages and all the other page builders we have reviewed. Make 100% sure that you test your store speed at testmystorespeed.com to make sure that your store speed is performing well. See the apps that you are using that you have maybe deleted but are still in your code. And you know what? Also. Go check out your competitor speed and the apps that they're using and you might learn a thing or two out of that thank you so much and i will see you in another shopify review video adios